Are you looking for the best attachments for the number one assault rifle in Warzone, the Automaton? Well, I'm going to show you the best beginner, mid-level and fully leveled attachments for the gun to ensure you get more kills in every single game. On top of this, this build is extremely low in recoil, meaning you can beam your enemies from miles away. Let's quickly discuss what makes this gun so good. The Automaton has little to no recoil, meaning you'll be able to easily kill enemies at extremely long ranges, and even be enemy snipers as the damage output on this gun is insane. On top of this, the best build for this gun has a 75 round magazine which means you can squad wipe an entire enemy team without having to reload. For those of you that don't own Vanguard and want to level up this gun as quickly as possible, my suggestion is to head into a plunder and do supply runs all game as these give out increasing amounts of weapon XP and XP the more you complete in one match. Just make sure you have your automaton out when you or a teammate completes the contract, otherwise you won't gain any XP towards that weapon. On top of this, make sure you have any double weapon XP to tokens active and use the pointman perk in perk slot 2 and the surplus gun perk for additional weapon xp. Now let's move on to the attachments. For the early level attachments we'll be taking the following. For the muzzle we'll be running the g28 compensator for additional recoil control. For the barrel we'll be running the zac 600mm bfa for additional recoil control and reduced gun sway. For the optic take the g16 two and a half times zoom for additional clarity at longer range fights. For the stock you don't want to be taking anything here as the first attachment just increases the recoil during sustained fire, which isn't something you want to be doing. For the underbarrel, we are taking the Carver foregrip for additional recoil control. For the magazine, take the 6.5mm Sakura 45 round mag for a larger magazine size, meaning you can kill more enemies in one clip. For the ammo type, you want to be taking the FMJ rounds for increased bullet penetration. For the rear grip, take the rubber grip for additional recoil control. For perk 1, we'll be running the spotter perk for additional damage range, and for perk 2, take whatever you have unlocked as not many of these are that useful. The full build can be found on the screen now. Now let's move on to the mid-level attachments. For the muzzle, we'll be running the MX silencer to keep you off the minimap when you're shooting and give you additional recoil control. For the barrel, we'll be running the Zac 600mm BFA for additional recoil control and reduced gun sway. For the optic, Take the G16 2.5x zoom for additional clarity at longer range fights. For the stock, you want to be taking the Anastasia padded for additional recoil control during sustained fire. For the underbarrel, we are taking the Carver foregrip for additional recoil control. For the magazine, take the 6.5mm Sakura 45 round mag for a larger magazine size. For the ammo type, we're still taking the F&J rounds for increased bullet penetration. For the rear grip, take the rubber grip for additional recoil control. For perk 1, we'll be running spotter for additional damage range, and for perk 2, take surplus for additional weapon XP whilst using this gun to unlock attachments at much faster rate. The full build can be found on the screen now. Now let's get into what we've all been waiting for, the fully leveled attachments. For the muzzle, we'll be running the Mercury Silencer for additional recoil control and keeping you off the minimap whilst firing. For the barrel, we'll be running the Zac 600mm BFA for additional recoil control and reduced gun sway. For the optic, take the M38 slash Slate 25 times Custom for more clarity at longer ranges and the ability to have a shorter range scope just in case you run out of ammo on your secondary weapon. For the stock, take the Anastasia Padded for additional recoil control during sustained fire. And for the underbarrel, we are taking the M1 941 hand stop for additional recoil control without impacting your aim down sight speed. And for the magazine, we're taking the 6.5mm Sakura 75 round drums for additional magazine size to make sure you can squad wipe enemies. For the ammo type, we're taking lengthened for additional bullet velocity to make hitting enemies much easier. For the rear grip, take the polymer grip for additional flinch resistance and accuracy during sustained fire. For perk 1, we'll be running tight grip for more accuracy during sustained fire. And for perk 2, take fully loaded to give you max ammo for your AR whenever you grab your loadout. The full build can be found on the screen now. If you did find this video useful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you'd like to see another guide for the broken one shot Einhorn revolving shotgun, click on the video on screen now. If you did make it all the way to the end, let me know in the comment section below what assault rifle you're finding most success with.